so the controllers has stuck and my device is like burning from back i can feel the heat even the main power button isn't responding if even if i press it the screen just stays on this is a ultimate comparison test between the top nintendo switch emulators available for android what's up everyone in today's video i would be doing a side by side comparison test for these three emulators aganes yuzu and skyline edge now note that these all three emulators are up to date meaning that the latest build of aganes which is currently 4.1.9 which is the latest build and for yuzu emulator this is this is the version 1462db for 694 and for our skyline emulator this is the version edge 69 yes this comparison will happen upon the edge version of skyline emulator since this is the latest build which was given by the developer as a gift to everyone let me show you the game that we will be testing upon these devices we would be running these four games upon our android devices first is beach buggy racing 2 need for speed hot pursuit remastered our favorite pokemon let's go pikachu and sonic mania since these three games can easily be emulated upon this device i have personally tested them upon uh, some of these emulators but for this video we will be uh, testing them upon all of these three emulators the same games start with yuzu first so for the first time we would be testing sonic mania let me just go to settings and show you the settings that i will be using so go to advanced settings general i'll keep the limit speed turned off and cpu accuracy will be set to auto now for the system dock mode will be turned off and in the graphics graphics level will be set to normal resolution i will keep it as low as possible since we know that yuzu isn't much optimized for mali devices for now and everything will be set to default force maximum clocks adreno only will be turned off because you know it is just for adreno use asynchronous shaders will be turned on and use reactive flushing will be turned on as well so that is it for the settings now let me just go ahead and test out sonic mania here as you can see our game has booted up and we are currently receiving like 60 fps so the peak fps was 60 and i don't think see i don't think so that we will able to get 60 plus fps so let us let me just press any button to start here and start the game first so for a game like sonic mania i do think that this is working really fine let me go back once and just start the game so yeah the game has started and we are seen like this we are receiving like constant 60 fps and now here when once the game actually starts once the game has actually loaded the fps is now fluctuating a bit but i don't think so that it is fluctuating much see once the textures are loaded like the fps is around uh, 60 which is pretty fine and it is really smooth i don't think there will be any kind of uh, texture glitches or bugs or any stuff like that now let me like now we will be trying to emulate the same game upon skyline edge 69 so let me go to settings and uh, first show you all the settings that i would be using for now so as you can see use docked mode i will keep it turned off for now and show performance statistic statistics let me turn it off i mean on and also force triple buffering executor slots count scale i'll set it to 6 and executor flush threshold this isn't much necessary but let us just keep it to some midway uh, this since this option needs a mali gpu enable fast gpu read back let me turn all these three options on as well and now let me try to emulate this game here the game has started with almost the same amount of fps as yuzu i think that 60 fps is the peak fps that we would be hitting in these emulators which was same in yuzu as well as skyline so let us just start the game so now the actual game has started and we can see the uh, uh, fps fluctuation basically i don't see any kind of difference when we compare to this fps uh, with what we received in yuzu emulator so i guess for a game like this even like a unoptimized emulator can still emulate it pretty fine so rather than emulating the same game upon again as let us now start by uh, using some different game for this emulator now let us start by first emulating like pokemon let's go pikachu upon this emulator and then we would continue emulating this same game upon yuzu as well as skyline let me just click upon touch control so this is the amount of ram usage that it is currently of using in for my device it is almost like 2 gigs of ram game has started and we are receiving like 30 fps uh, 2004 here is the cut scene actual cut scene and we are receiving like 20 fps which i guess is fine the visuals are nice for this cut scene basically i really like this cut scene as well so now the actual game has booted and 
we are receiving here in these cutscene fps is around 18 to 17 basically ranging from 15 to 20 and ram usage is 1.6 so let us just see how well the fps goes once the game actually starts and let us just try to go outside and see what is the amount of fps that we get so here inside house the fps is pretty fine i don't see like stuttering or any other stuff like that so here we are outside and the environmental fps that we are getting after coming outside of the house is like 8 fps or sometimes even hits up to like 10 11 fps so as the game is slowly compiling all those shaders the fps is coming to some kind of a stable point and now the game has started and fps is like 10 basically it is really less even for a device like this i mean i should have hoped for i did hope like the fps could have been around uh, 15 to 16 but it is like 10 to 15 in for this emulator anyways we would be testing now let us go and test the amount of fps in other emulators that we will get let me just exit the game for now and now let me just try to emulate pokemon let's go pikachu upon user emulator this is going to be uh, a really difficult task i don't think so that it will even be able to emulate pokemon let's go pikachu because when i tried to emulate the games like this it showed me a message like it needed it is recommended to have 8 gigs of ram rather than 6 so i don't think so that it will even boot with 6 gigs of ram and here we get the message like game is loading so i guess the game is actually loaded and this is the amount of fps like 10 to 15 and there were some glitches in the beginning let me just start the game so yep the game has started and you can see the amount of fps that we are getting for now actually this is just the loading screen and let us see if we are able to boot this game so yep we have the emulator has now and basically the visuals are really nice i would say that user emulate i would say that user emulator does provide better visuals than skyline agnes yep the visuals are great it is almost like you are emulating this thing in the actual nintendo switch and here is a cute pikachu like fps is fine and i guess oh yep as ex as expected it has now crashed and now let me just try to emulate this same game upon skyline edge emulator as well this is the amount of fps that we're getting so the game has booted in skyline edge v69 as well let me just start the game for you once you go guys pokemon let's go pikachu for skyline edge v69 has now finally booted and i will say i will for 100% I am 100% sure that this game is the smoothest of all those previous tests like for Yuzu it just crashed but comparison with Agnes emulator this is really well and if I have to talk about its visuals like visuals may not be that appealing since Yuzu has the best visuals I don't know why but it just feels like that we are actually emulating the game on some real Nintendo Switch console here the graphics are downgraded a bit textures aren't that clear but still the fps is great and i do think that it is better than agnes emulator in terms of performance but when it comes to uh, compatibility agnes might be able to handle more of these games because like demon slayer hinokami chronicles can easily be played upon agnes emulator while i did try to emulate that same game upon skyline edge v69 as well but it wasn't uh, that great so i do have high hopes for this emulator because i do think that it will show us high amount of fps and yep definitely as ex as expected this is literally showing like there is a straight 10 fps difference in agnes we were only able to receive like 10 to 13 fps maximum but here the fps sometimes even hits up to like 25 look at this environment the fps is for sure really really well uh, optimized for this emulator now let us do a test now let us do a test for the most extreme game in our list that is need for speed hot pursuit remastered let us now emulate that game upon agnes so now the game has started with some uh, glitching in the beginning and this is the amount of fps that we are getting like 6 fps i don't think so we will even be able to hit higher than this amount of fps and don't ask me how many ages it took for me to boot this game upon this device and there are weird glitches like the fps is really low and oh my god i don't know what the vibrators are destroying my phone completely i guess i should have turned off the vibrations but the fps is really really less and look at this guy like like the car is first going back and then going in front 
I do think that this is some glitch. I haven't seen this glitch earlier but this is the first time. I don't want to block my device by emulating this game upon this emulator. Let me just close again as emulator. So the game was too heavy now. Let us just try to emulate this game, same game upon Yuzu emulator. Like just like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, I don't think so. It will be able to like boot the final game up to the gameplay part but I do think that uh, menus and other stuff will be loaded and we have started to see some amount of fps with just a plain black screen still yup so the game has finally started and i have to seriously compliment yuzu for this thing but the visuals are great but the performance and optimization and compatibility everything is like just whack pro whack when it comes to the simulator let me select career mode and there are some cutscenes for the map no glitches or texture bugs here fps is really really low almost as same as the agnes fps is stuck i guess i don't know why it is stuck but it doesn't move so i guess the app will soon crash or it is about to crash really soon so the controllers has stuck and my device is like burning from back i can feel the heat so i have to shut the emulation my device isn't responding guys i think i have to shut the emulator now what have you done you to my device even the main power button isn't responding if even if i press it the screen just stays on i guess i have to wait for a while or just have to now throw this device in a bin i think so guys that we will be able to conduct a test for the skyline hv69 version as well for this game yuzu is stuck and it still is from like past 5 to 10 minutes I don't know what will happen but so moral of the story is never try to emulate any game support use your emulator if you are having a mediatek device you will end up regre regretting it just trust me like now i don't know how will i fix this it is stuck it is not responding power button no nothing volumes nothing like what happened now make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe my channel and also turn on the bell icon because i have done a really big sacrifice for you guys so here is an update i have to now finally restart my device reboot it and it took like easily five to six minutes just to do that anyway guys subscribe this channel i sacrificed everything for you if this device would have blown up i would have been dead as well <laughs> come on subscribe now subscribe